Hi guys, got a request from Guitar Rocks 360 to convert one of those little toy RC cars to LiPo batteries. I did this one the other night. This was a simple conversion because this one has five AA batteries. So that's normally seven and a half volts to run it. So that is exactly the same as using a 2S LiPo battery. Because a 2S LiPo battery is 7.4 volts. So it should work in this car that's expecting 7.5 volts. The next stage is to try and do it to one of these smaller cars. Now this one expects four AA batteries, so that would be six volts. So the question is, do we give it a 1S battery, in other words a single battery, like that, nice little one, which would be 3.7 volts, or do we join two of them together so that we get 7.4 volts. So we either underpower it with 3.7 volts instead of 6 volts, or we overpower it with 7.4 volts instead of 6 volts. So what I'm going to do is put a suitable connector. Uh, I've got a bag of them here somewhere. There we are. Off eBay. Just solder that connector onto the N2 terminals where the batteries go and then I can connect up a single battery and see how it runs with just 3.7 volts or I've got a connector I've made up here for one of my planes where we have one connector goes in, two connectors come out but they're connected together in series so two 3.7s give us the 7.4. So that's what we'll do. We'll stick a connector on there. I'll take it apart and solder it on the inside. And then we'll try it with one battery. And then we'll try it with two batteries. That's the positive terminal for the battery. And that's the negative terminal. to do is solder this connector straight on those terminals. Ideally we want to fit the batteries into the battery container. So it would be best if I have the wires or the connector so it comes out inside. just drill a little hole through so we can do that. I'm not quite sure if the batteries will. They might just fit in there with a bit of luck without having to modify it at all. As long as I use these little lipos. There are a couple of, couple of problems using a LiPo. Um, the main one being potentially they catch fire. So you have to be a bit careful with them. I'm not going to start going on about the details. You'll have to look it up yourself. Google it. Find out about LiPo batteries. The other problem with them is obviously you need a suitable charger to charge them. I just happen to have quite a few now. So, 
red wire to red battery contact. Do with two hands. That's the positive. Let's do the negative. Let's try one of these batteries. Connecting it to the battery terminals there means that the on-off switch still works. So that's on. Right, nothing. So, I don't know if these batteries are charged actually, they've been out in the shed for a little while. Let's just try the other one. So I think those batteries are a little bit flat. Let's try my little joining cable. So we got the two of them together. So, as I said, I'm not quite sure what condition those batteries were in because they've been out in the shed uh, for quite a while and haven't been charged. But certainly the two of them make it work and the one on its own wasn't enough. So I'll screw it all back together and see if we can get these two into the battery pack. Can we get the lid on with them in place? I've got rather a lot of wire slopping around here. We'd need to tidy this up a little bit if we were going to do it as a permanent fix. But we're on. go and give it a try, haven't we? Test run on the conservatory floor. See if I can figure out how to steer it. I think we've got a bit of trouble with grip. So, it seems to work, and that's with two uh, LiPo batteries in it, effectively a 2S battery, 7.4 volts.